Gaming Bolt presents 15 Craziest Video Game Doctors You Wouldn't Ever Visit Doctors have long played an important role in video games, but not all of them can heal your wounds. A good deal of them just make matters worse, and a lot of them are more than a little mentally unstable. Here are the 15 craziest video game doctors you would never visit. Dr. Mario Miyamoto recently admitted that Dr. Mario is not a certified physician, so that must make him a plumber in a doctor's coat that tosses oddly shaped pills at colorful, cartoonish viruses. We won't ask for his diagnosis, but we'll continue to use him in Smash Bros to give the rest of the Nintendo universe a taste of their own medicine. Dr. Zed, Borderlands First thing you need to know about Dr. Zed, he's not a real doctor. He does his best, but an awful lot of patients seem to die on his table. Always covered in blood and sending the player out on insane fetch quests, Dr. Zed does his best to act like a doctor. But if you end up on his table, you're not getting off it. Dr. Robotnik, Sonic the Hedgehog Dr. Robotnik, also known as Dr. Eggman, has been capturing small woodland creatures and trapping them inside hulking robots for years. So we know he can perform surgery, but maybe not on humans. He's yet another example of a mad genius who uses his brilliance to hunt an animal with attitude, so maybe not the best guy to trust with your body. Dr. Willy, Mega Man Mega Man has one goal. Defeat the horde of robot masters created by the evil Dr. Willy to stop his plans of world domination. The good doctor is clearly a genius if he's able to create such powerful robots, but you'll only want to visit this medical professional if you want to fight your way through an army of elemental warriors. The Medic, Team Fortress The world of Team Fortress is a rather bizarre place, especially when the Medic occasionally kills more people than he saves. Yes, he has a healing beam to save his teammates from certain death, but he also has a multitude of weapons that ensure that his enemies will never walk again. Dr. Gepetto Boskanovich, Tekken Doctors take an oath to do no harm to others, but Dr. Gepetto Boskanovich of Tekken fame clearly didn't get the memo. He spends his days fighting bears, men with jaguar heads, and throwing people into volcanoes. You usually don't want a doctor who would rather dropkick a fighting animal than mend a broken bone. Dr. Richard Traeger, Outlast The insane asylum that acts as the setting for Outlast's demented adventure is home to Dr. Richard Traeger. The skeletal sinewy madman prowls the crumbling building, hunting the player and sending his small army of insane inmates after you. However, he does perform surgery by cutting off your fingers. Ouch. Dr. Nefarious, Ratchet and Clank why is it that so many doctors use their genius to viciously hunt animals that wear clothes? Dr. Nefarious is another physician who prefers creating killer robots to curing cancer. He's always coming up with new plots to bring down his arch enemies Ratchet and Clank. He even waged war against the duo through time and space. He may be a mad genius, but his bumbling ways and clumsy nature makes it hard for him to be taken seriously. Dr. Neo Cortex, Crash Bandicoot What's the mark of a good doctor? Well, it isn't that he wages war against a bandicoot in jorts and encases his own brain in a glass jar. Dr. Neo Cortex is constantly throwing everything he has at Crash, doing his absolute best to crush the spinning critter. Maybe he could create some bizarre contraption to cure you of your ailments, but more likely than not, he'll just get distracted by his anthropomorphic nemesis. Dr. Edward Richtofen, Call of Duty Zombies if your doctor can be described as a sociopath, you might be better off looking for another doctor. Dr. Edward Richtofen is one of the playable characters in the Call of Duty Zombie storyline, but he's about as sane as the shambling undead that he kills. Dr. Albert from Dead Rising 3 One of the seven psychopaths who control the massive open world in Dead Rising 3, Dr. Albert is a psychotic physician who gets his jollies from cutting up bodies and performing demented experiments. He keeps souvenirs from his victims on a string around his neck and is more likely to kill you than cure you. Dr. Jonathan Crane, Batman Arkham Series Pain can be terrifying, and Dr. Jonathan Crane, also known as the Scarecrow, knows this only too well. He can't mend broken bones or cure cancer, but he can give you nightmarish visions of pain, suffering, and misery. It makes for good gameplay sequences in the Batman Arkham series, but he won't exactly help with a migraine or a sore stomach. Dr. Scabs, Wolfenstein You have to be at least a little insane to be a doctor for the Third Reich. 
Dr. Scabs is the big baddie of the second chapter of Wolfenstein 3D, and it's immediately clear as soon as his pixelated form waddles onto the screen that he has a few screws loose. His white smock is covered in drops of blood, and his grin stretches from cheek to cheek as he stalks the player and tries to cut a chunk out of them. It doesn't need to be said, but any doctor who works for Robot Hitler isn't going to be of much use to you. Dr. Adrian Baker, Heavy Rain As cheerful and kind as Dr. Adrian Baker seems, he won't actually help you with any cuts or bruises, but will tie you up and try to harvest your organs. He puts on a calm front, but when his true intentions are revealed, the player sees how truly insane he is. Yourself, Surgeon Simulator Surgeon Simulator's doctor always gets the job done, but things tend to get a little messy in the process. You're actually the one controlling the hands, making the precision cuts and carefully removing your patient's delicate organs, and then throwing them against the wall and dropping the scalpel in their chest cavity. Whatever hospital Surgeon Simulator takes place in, you definitely never want to go there for any medical emergency. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video, and happy gaming!